mean to me. <laughs> I used to do some deliveries down here, dude. It was not fun. It was not fun. They were always trying to get me in trouble. They were always trying to get me in trouble. I didn't bring the right shit. Or I didn't say the right words or wear the right clothes. It's like, dude, I'm trying. <laughs> These motherfuckers have been in pedophilia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what's up with that? That's not cool. It's true, bro. That's not like cool. It. That's not cool. But we'll, we'll keep it moving on that. We'll keep it moving on that. And guess what, guys? I get fired sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't come down here anymore. I got a new job. I got a new job. It's going good, though. It's going pretty good. Working with the Latinos. Woo! Lots of Cubans, to be exact. I fucking love them dudes, man. I love my Latino brothers, especially them Cubans, because, like, in Tampa Bay, dude, you need somebody for everything. And they got a cousin that does it all. Yeah. <laughs> a tire pop the other day. Boom. Done. Cousin got a tire shop. 50 bucks. <laughs> Day's over. All right. I like good food. Let's put in some flan bananas. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's add that to the mix. You know, sometimes I only got $500 on me, and I need a quarter ounce of blow and a beautiful hooker. <laughs> Done, my friends. Done. Okay, talk to your fucking Cuban buddy. So we got to utilize our friends around here. Now, guys, I get it. I get it. I don't know what the fuck's supposed to make you guys laugh, okay? Not from here, all right? I didn't grow up the way you guys grew up here. I never fucking wrestled an alligator. And guess what? Never. Well, no one's ever in my life asked me to leave a Publix. <laughs> I've been trying to get on TV for years. No, fuck no. All my neighbors been starred on their own TV show. Live PD. <laughs> When's my episode? When's my episode? You know? I live in Newport Ritchie. I had to get two different kinds of hepatitis just for my neighbors to talk to me. <laughs> okay? Do you know how many restaurants you have to eat on US 19 to get a hepatitis C? <laughs> Three. The answer is two. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Like I said, okay? I never fucking tried math mm-hmm. on purpose. You know, you don't know what's in that bag sometimes, guys. We're just. Buying what we're buying. A deal's a deal, my friends. <laughs> Never Narcan either of my parents. <laughs> and I was not raised by my grandparents. So like I said, me and my neighbors in Newport Richie have nothing in common. But I've been trying to find a way to build the bridge, bring us all together, something we can all agree on. Guess what we got, Newport Richie? Old people, strip clubs. Boom, boom, baby. Yeah. Whoop, yeah. Guess what? Whoop. Sometimes on my day off, my nana's got nothing to do. (laughs) And I used to do drugs. I've been through her purse. She has a lot of ones and fives. (laughs) So you know what we do on my day off? We go to the strip club on US 19. We eat us a little grub at the buffet. And we make it rain in that bitch, dude. The way I look at it, we're supporting the economy, okay? We're supporting the fucking economy. I'm spending time with the elderly. I'm spending time with my fucking family. And I'm showing my sisters as much support as humanly possible. So tomorrow morning when you want a buffet, tip my sister $20, okay? Let's fucking all do our part. We can all do our part, you know? So you know, I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not from here, okay? I grew up in Michigan, and in Michigan, it's it's very different. I don't know what you guys do, but down there, I moved, I lived on a pot farm. I grew up on a pot farm. Worked there for over ten years. It's pot still cool. Everyone's on that fentanyl, fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> you guys moved on to bigger and better things like that. But yeah, in, in Michigan, weed's still cool. And I worked for this guy, and the best way to describe him, I'm sure some of you will take offense to this. He's a crazy fucking redneck. Okay. <laughs> Where he lives, it's halfway between an outdoorsman's dream and a PETA member's nightmare. <laughs> I promise you, he's got dead animals fucking hanging everywhere. He's got boats, he's got RVs, he's got ATVs, he's got dab labs, he's got meth labs, he's got, you know, Wuhan virus labs. I know where COVID actually came from, motherfuckers, but I ain't no snitch. <laughs> so I'll just keep it moving. Yeah, I worked for this guy for a long time, but the thing about me is I absolutely hate being cold. 
I've wanted to come down here, move down here my whole life. You know, my parents were cheap. They wouldn't bring me down here on vacation. We went to a fucking Wildwood, New Jersey, bitch. They like, didn't get to come to Florida. So in my mind, I thought it was just beaches, old people, and Disney. Nobody told me about the alligators and the hepatitis and the math and all the extra shit. But I do fucking love it down here. I do love it. But the thing is, being an uneducated, degenerate piece of shit, I had to find a way to support myself down here. And I found out if you're not full-blown retard, if you're just like 30 to 45%, they will give you your class ACDL, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you could drive semi-truck in like six weeks if you want to. But the thing is, I had to break the news to my great mentor and employer. I'm like, hey, dude, fuck, living in Michigan. I'm going to move to Florida. He's like, how are you going to do that? I said, I'm going to drive class AC. Yeah. He starts with his predictions. And he goes, hey, man, within your first six months, four things will happen to you. One, you will gain over 50 pounds. Two, you will get an STD from a lot lizard. That's a hooker at a truck stop. I had to Google it. Yeah, it is. Three, you have hemorrhoids hanging out your ass this long, and four, you will kill somebody between I-4, US-19, Guess what? He was not right about all his predictions. I only gained 45 pounds. So fuck that guy. Kill your bartenders. Hey!